afternoon YouTube today I have the general electric washer and dryer I've been using them for about three weeks roughly and um, I'm going to give you a review on what I think of them so we'll go through the cons first and then I'll give you all the pros so the first con is going to be the door um, I leveled it out made sure both all the feeds were level on the washer and dryer the doors don't still don't open the greatest. Um, I contacted General Electric and they said that that's just the way they're designed. Um, when you open and close it, it just doesn't open as smooth or closes as smooth as I would my other washer and dryer have in the past. Um, it, it, this actually mechanism in here is loose and they say it's because I try to tighten it, but it's the way that it's designed. It, it is supposed to be loose to be able to just basically however it is on surface i guess it just slides right up on it but it just doesn't see doesn't open and close as good as i would like and that's the same with the washer um the washer has this mechanism where it's just loose and so it just goes in it all right so the second con is going to be on the washer the washer has a one-step wash and dry feature you can see it there that feature sucks it's not even worth using um we actually had our dryer on back order for several months so we went ahead and had them deliver the washer thinking that because our other washer dryer we ended up selling it thinking that it wouldn't take as long and so um it, we thought we could go ahead and use just the washer and dry feature to get us by until the dryer came in but it sucks. Literally, it would it would run for even on a small load. It would run five to ten hours, and it still wouldn't be dry. You you pull it out, and it'd still be pretty damp. So if you are getting it and you are relying on that wash and dry feature, it's it's a waste of time. It literally sucks. Um, it's kind of a wasted wasted uh, spot, if you ask me. So that's going to be the second con, and the third con that I have. Is going to be oh the I'm um, sorry the reversing the doors the, I had to reverse both doors <clears throat> and it's a pain in the butt um, which is kind of nice because you know it's built good it has a ton of screws but every if you can see here every single one of these screws there's all of them every single one of them has to be taken out and um, and then you switch everything over but you get you have all these screws there's a ton of them and then you also have screws underneath this plastic so it was just very uh very time consuming getting all the screws out and not over tighten them when you got it back together and then also this is glass so just having some a second person there to help you with it you know hold it so there's like four pieces that you have to put all back together it's just if you aren't handy it's it's definitely more complicated than what it should be they could have made maybe one or two pieces versus like four and um anyways so that's just a third prompt a con that i would say that there's a, a better way of that they could have done designed it initially all right so we're going to go ahead and start out with the pros and that's all i have for the cons i really like the washer and dryer it's, it's it's been awesome um so the first pro and i'm going to highlight this as my number one is going to be the Google Assistant feature, or initially, you know, there's a smart technology that it has. When the dryer and washer is done, either one, it will call it out, and I, I put it into the Google Home app. It will call out on all of my Google devices that the washer or dryer has finished, and it specifies which one. And it's nice because if, especially if you got and you're in the mode of cleaning, you know, on a Saturday or whatever, you got music playing, it it will pause the music on, you know, Spotify or whatever on your Google home and tell you that the washer dryer. So you, as opposed to missing out and not hearing it, you're going to hear it because it's going to broadcast it, you know, through all your Google devices that you're listening to the music on. So that's that's definitely number one, my favorite feature. The second feature I really like about the um, washer is going to be the auto dispense feature which you just fill this up and it automatically dispenses uh, you can do more or less as far as like how much it dispenses uh, so it has auto and then you can do less or more 
Um, but we just set it on auto and it's been great. It's added enough. The only thing that I would suggest General Electric doing in the future, which would make even everybody's life even more easier, that uses fabric softener to add the fabric softener auto dispense feature. But um, as opposed to having to add both the dis, uh, detergent and the softener, now we just have to add the softener. So that definitely is uh, makes life easier. And the one another benefit is that the, you can actually pull this mechanism or the dispenser, this entire thing all the way out just by pushing this button and that whole tray comes all the way out. So you can take it, you know, in your kitchen or whatever and, and rinse it all out so you don't have any type of mold buildup. So that's definitely a super smart design. Um, all the other washers that I've had, it's been a pain in the butt to clean, making sure, you know, mold doesn't build up. And so that that's definitely a uh, an awesome feature as well all right so the next uh, thing that we'll move on to as far as a pro is the dryer itself it dries extremely fast I, I love it um, every other dryer I've had it will the auto feature especially will say that it's dry and it's not dry you'll go in there and you have to start it over again this if you put on extra dry it's it's boiling hot when it comes out you don't have to worry about it especially towels and things like that have being damp and it dries super fast so that's that's awesome all right the uh next feature for pro is going to be the lint trap the lint trap is awesome it's super hoover designed this i mean general electric or whatever hoover designed it at general electric did an amazing job so it literally opens up and you can just vacuum it all out all the lint builds up in there and you take your vacuum to it clean it out and just close it back up and uh it's, it's just awesome to me it's like something that should have been designed a long time ago um every other one i've had literally will just you know clog down in there and you have to get a vacuum and clean it all out so for the most part it gets all caught in this little basket mechanism so super super uh, smart design there kudos to general electric All right, so the washer, one of the things, the dryer is really easy to move around, but the washer is, it, once it gets down, it's it's hard to move. And I think the reason for that is it has some type of sticky feet or rubber feet or something to keep it from moving around and shaking. So it, it's an awesome design as well that they already got that built in. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, shaking around and uh, hitting into the other uh, wall and the uh, dryer. All right, and I love the lights. The lights just give it a nice look. It looks clean, and uh, you can actually choose to, to keep that on if you want. But um, the front glass is tinted too. That looks really nice. Uh, and then the rubber on the um, washer. It's some type of rubber that they they've designed. I don't know what technology it is, but it's supposed to keep mold and build up. If you've ever had a front loading washing machine in the past most of them will if you close them they end up getting mold build up uh, one of the the benefits of of this there you can actually see the uh, rubber branding but um one of the benefits of this washer this washer it has this uh, ultra vent system so that actually will open up and um, vent after each wash load so it, it prevents that mold from building up or just, just a quick con one thing that I wish they would have done is design the washer the same as the dryer Even putting these vents, you know looking things on the dryer I think would have been nice just to keep it consistent or vice versa try to keep the vent with Maybe even make it black so you don't notice as much um, But that that's just a con quick con. I wanted to throw in there but um All right, so the next thing is going to be the the washer link option so with this and that's actually gonna be my last one so the washer link you can set this to washer link which will dry your clothes Where is it? okay so it will dry your clothes as the washer is washing your clothes so if you have you know three hours on your washer or two hours on your washer then your dryer will take longer and heat at a lower heat rate to 
use less electricity basically um, so that's pretty nice and then if you are leaving you can set that washer link so they're done at the same time and so that when you come home you, you washer and dryer ends at the same time so that's a pretty cool feature as well and uh, so all in all the washer and dryer has been awesome I was a little iffy of going with General Electric and that's just because I hadn't had a lot of experience with them our previous one was uh, Samsung and honestly, Samsung makes awesome phones. I'll go with Samsung for my phone and my TV. But we've had not the greatest luck with the refrigerators and the washer and dryer that we've had um, with Samsung. So I decided to, to go with a different a brand and General Electric. The reviews on it were great. And so for me, I've been extremely pleased with them. And... Um, let me know what you think. If you have questions, leave those in the comments. And if you don't mind, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great day.